this model is doing specifically is looking at where the material is going and how it's diluting over time. The Tampa Bay Coastal Ocean Model was designed by USF's College of Marine Science to track red tide. Now it's forecasting where nutrients from more than 200 million gallons of water dumped from Piney Point and into Tampa Bay will end up. The effluent is sloshing back and forth with the tides. Right now, the models show low concentrations have reached waters off St. Petersburg and into the Gulf of Mexico. Researchers say the model will help them out in a number of ways. It will help them direct where testing efforts need to be focused on, and it will also give them a look at where we could see impacts. We don't see any indication of anything toxic uh, out there. So it's, a, it's an assemblage of, of plant life that uh, exists in the ocean and when you feed it a lot of nutrients, uh, they take off, just like in your garden. For those who make a living from Tampa Bay, the models bring a mix of feelings. It's helpful, but it's also disheartening because it it kind of plays out worst case scenario. Rod Griffin lives near Piney Point. He's also a local commercial fisherman. If high counts of nutrients stay in Cockroach Bay and Bishop Harbor, he believes the impacts could be devastating. My concern is that it could potentially put us out of business for a year or two until everything bounces back. He's still working on the water, moving away from the spill site and into waters he knows are clean and clear. That'll give us a good tool on, on what areas we need to focus on paying attention to to just see how bad it's going to be. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Now, when asked about fishing or swimming in the water there, Dr. Reisberg said that use common sense. He says as a non-scientific response, he would not recommend fishing where concentrations of nutrients are high.